Hey guys, this is probably going to be a quick one. It's the middle of the night. The servers are going to go down in a few hours for a six hour maintenance. No idea what guys are going to be doing during that six hour maintenance. Okay, it's not like a major patch is coming up soon or anything. No, that, that is not my way of announcing the patch. That's my way of, <laughs> that's way of speculating. Anyway, we're just going to do a quick game in the Russian reserves, plus the Ishak and Cheka. And um, let's see if we can get this guy with the rockets. Catch. Oh, and he eats it right in the face. And that's why we don't ignore rockets. Just because they're inaccurate doesn't mean I can't get lucky. So we're going to start with the high altitude guys and work our way down. If they want to stay and fight, if they want to dive down, then fine. If they dive to low altitude, I don't have to worry about them until I'm also at low altitude. I like doing one-on-ones more than 12-on-ones, which is why I tend to go to high altitude, because anyone can dive from top to bottom, but not anyone can just zoom climb. Oh, my frame rate is unhappy with me tonight. Oh, spray and pray. Spray and pray! He's still not maneuvering, he's still... Wow, alright. Hold still. That's only gonna hurt a whole shitload. Gotta wonder, do people even look behind them? You see, whenever I fly, I'm constantly looking over my shoulder, even when I have crappy frame rate. Cause you have to know, you have to know if somebody's diving on you or not. I mean, you have to know if somebody's sitting behind you, matched speeds, just laughing, getting ready to annihilate you. Part of me really wants to come down here and cover this guy, then fight as a team with my random assortment of teammates. Part of me just wants to slaughter. Uh, but it doesn't look like nobody's diving in from the top. See, so yeah, I'm gonna come down and help these guys. I'm gonna help this I-16 first. It looks like he's trying to turn with an I-15, which is a very stupid idea. Also looks like the I-15 is ignoring... Well, I don't... There we go. Alright, turn, I'm gonna come back towards him. Well, we actually we have... A fighter. I'm not his way the hell up there. You can say I only I don't want to go. I'm gonna go two on one right now. Not with this frame rate. Um, we're gonna go two on one, but we're gonna do it over here. Third one back there. It's just an I-15. He's diving away. All right. So we're gonna go one or uh, two on one with these two I-15s. Or we're gonna help this guy. And there's a gladiator down to I don't know. We're gonna. See if we can get this guy quick. Oh god. Lead some speed really quick and a high G roll. Alright. Help this guy out. Um, we're gonna go for the guy on his tail. Gonna dodge that guy's shots. Wait until he's passed before we start our turn. It's only an Ishak. Very dangerous plane when they're energy fighting, not so much when they're turn fighting. A little surprise none of those hit, but again, it's just an Ishak. I can sit on his tail all day if I have to. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, he's starting to slow down, trying to force me to overshoot. I don't know if that's what he's trying to do or not, but... Pull up. Go. Oh, his engine's out. And he's dead. Gonna go loop. There's this guy. Up oh, there he is. We're gonna keep this an energy fight. Uh, Furies don't energy fight very well. They're uh, very good wing loading, they can kind of turn with you, but their power to weight is terrible. So they can't accelerate for shite. Which lets you out energy fight them extremely easily. And so I was able to reverse that on them so fast. Pea shooters are the same way, very fast aircraft. And they have surprisingly powerful engines, but they're also very heavy. That Chika down there is a much bigger threat than this guy, but the Chika is not in range. 
just heard someone behind me. Gonna maneuver against that someone behind me. It's, again, it's just an ish act. They energy fight well, and I am playing into that advantage by pitching up, but now I'm in a turn fight. At equal al altitude, gonna throw my rudder into this. No idea what that was for. Uh, gotta pull lead first, silly. Ignoring the pea shooter, he isn't as big a threat, in my opinion, as this guy. It depends what kind of a pilot's in it, but so far he hasn't taken advantage of the large amount of time I've spent vulnerable. So let's hope he continues not to. There we go. Next. They're really starting to come in on me now. What was that guy doing the whole time I was fighting the other guy? Got I-15s coming in on me now, but I'd rather kill this guy. I always say don't do head-ons, but eh. So did I get that kill, or did that count as a crash from him? Okay, I have eight kills either way. Yeah, I shouldn't have uh, done that. We've got an I-15 coming in behind me. They can match me, but I have rockets now. What's this? Another I-15, but he didn't turn. Let's see if I can get him to turn into me. We're going to take care of him. Much bigger threat, but I can't turn or out energy fight him. I don't. It doesn't really matter which I choose to do. I'm going to energy fight, though, so I can just to conserve how much energy I have as much as I can. Yeah, the I-15 just bounced. Just going to empty what ammo I have, wait for the reload. I'm going to have to duck and... Nope, not going to have to duck and dodge both these guys. Just denying him an easy shot gonna out energy fight him again hope that chica coming in because trust me that chica is coming in is gonna be nice and let me kill this guy first uh oh switch into the chica for the obvious reasons of the chica being a much bigger threat and he just handed me his tail for some reason thanks dude now he's going for speed, a tactic that would work great if he wasn't in an energy fighter. But because we're both in energy fighters, all that's going to do is bleed our energy. It's actually not going to do anything to help either of us. We maneuver better at low speeds than high speeds. And he very well might end up outturning me due to my damage, but so far that does not appear to be the case. And he's doing a nice energy fight, but that only works when you're fighting something that isn't also an energy fighter. Nice rolling scissors. Whichever one of us slows down first is going to win this. So I'm going to mix it up into a vertical rolling scissors. And now he should be closing in on me distance-wise without actually being able to get his guns on me. This is also going to make me a very difficult target for everyone else. Now we're just in a turn fight, so going back up again. He's going to get shots here if he's careful. But if he's not careful, he's going to overshoot. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. Luckily, he sucks, but he doesn't suck enough, so I just handed him that. Right up until then, I was doing really good, though. <laughs> it takes a Chika to kill a Chika, it seems. Ishak time. See, it's important to remember with the Chika that you're, while you're a good turn fighter, you're not the best turn fighter. You're actually the best all-around energy fighter at this tier. It's, I mean, even 109s can't energy fight with a Chika. But 109s are far more than fast enough to zoom a Chika, so it doesn't matter. So every plane has its weaknesses relative to every other plane. Well, to the, I mean, some, some planes just can't be helped, but... I don't think you need me to tell you the Chika's a good plane. You very well might need me to tell you not to turn with certain aircraft, like the Kai-10. Its guns are shit, but it can turn better than you in a pure horizontal turn, whether it's realistic or arcade. 
And I'm not a vengeful person, but that Chika is the biggest threat, so I'm going to kill him first. And I'm going to try using my rockets to do it. Actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to kill him. One of these guys wants to go head on with me, though. That would be nice. I am now in a zoom fighter. Remember that. Oh, and the game's over. <laughs> Catch. So anyway, there you go. That was eight and zero in the well, eight and one in the Chica. And it it literally up oh, nine and zero in the Chica. Nine? God, I had, so that was nine and zero in the Chica. It's good playing, really. 5.15 is also pretty insane, but the it just... Oh, it should be a 2.0 plane at least. So there you go. I don't know. <laughs> In the middle of the night with a terrible headache and I'm barely paying attention. Horrible frame rate. Alright, ping though, but... Ugh. Everything stacked against you. That still happens whenever a decent player... And I'm not saying I'm good. I'm decent. Decent player on the Chica. That's what happens. <laughs> oh...